Hi everyone, Kirk here from Lakeshore. Welcome to today's Learning at Home STEM Challenge. Have you ever ridden on a roller coaster? When I lived in Japan, I was able to ride on the world's longest roller coaster. It's over 8,000 feet long. Well today, we're going to be designing our own mini roller coasters for coins. Imagine yourself sitting on a roller coaster. You hear that ch -ch 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 as it pulls you up to the top. Then all of a sudden it's quiet. Then you're shooting down, and you're shooting left, and you're shooting right, and you're shooting up, and you're shooting down, and then you stop. And you think to yourself, either that was really fun, or I'm never doing that again. But either way, how do the roller coaster work? Roller coasters use a combination of gravity and angles to get you from the top to the bottom. Gravity is the force that pulls something down and angles is the degree at which the track is tilted. Well today, we're going to be designing our very own mini roller coasters for coins that will allow us to explore those two concepts. But before we begin, adults, here's what the kids are going to need. Paper, quarters, scissors, tape, and a wall that's safe for them to tape their tracks onto. This challenge is pretty simple to make, but it's a lot of fun to play with. Kids will learn a lot as they adjust their tracks to get the coin to do what they want. Changing the positioning or the angles gives them first-hand experience with the concepts like gravity and angles we talked about earlier. If an attempt fails, have them watch what happened and make an adjustment and then try again. Encourage your kids to try different track combinations or even making different length tracks and trying those out. Challenge them to create a track that has a really tall freefall or even one that spans the length of your wall. Once you have your materials together, let's get started. All right, now that you have your materials together, let's start making some tracks. You should have paper and scissors. Now we don't want to be wasteful, so we want to try to get two tracks out of this one sheet of paper. To do that, take your scissors and cut the paper in half like this. All right, now to make a track, take that piece of paper and fold it up like this so you have a little bit of space still left at the top. Okay, something like that. Now take a piece of tape, put it on the front of your paper like this, and then fold it over the back. Okay, do that on both sides. And now you've created a pocket with two holes on each end. We want to make sure that those holes are large enough for the quarter to roll out of. So to test, put a quarter into your track, tilt it to one side, and make sure that it can come out. Okay, let's try this side. Great. So now we've made one track. Make about four or five of these, and then let's go set them up. Before we begin setting up our roller coaster, let's talk a little bit about angles. The angle of your track is very important. It controls the direction and speed the coin is going to roll through that track. In a flat track like this, the coin is just going to sit there. It's not going anywhere. If you give it a little bit of angle, the coin will roll slowly in that direction. If you give it a lot of angle, the coin will roll much quicker. If you want to change directions, change the angle. Coins are always going to want to roll downhill. Now, to place your tracks on the wall, put a piece of tape in the top corners like this and make sure that your tape doesn't cover the opening. Position the first track on the wall at the angle you like and press down on the tape. Do that for the second track, and so on until you've built out your roller coaster. Once you have everything set up, it's time to test. Let's see what happens on this guy. Look at that. The quarter rolled down the first track into the second, changed direction, and then rolled out. Had I had more tracks here, hopefully the coin would have made it all the way to the bottom. What happened when you test your track? Each time you test it, something else may happen. Sometimes the coin may overshoot the track. In that case, reposition it so that the track will catch the coin the next time it falls down. Or did the coin fall in and not go anywhere? In that case, consider changing the angle of your track so that the coin knows which way to roll. Keep doing that, fine tuning, adjusting, and retrying until you're able to get your quarter through all of your different tracks. Let's go.
All right, here's my roller coaster. Let's see how it works. It worked. I'd love to see the kind of roller coasters you guys can come up with. This is Kirkwood Lakeshore. I'll see you next time on another Learning at Home STEM challenge. Take care. Keep watching our Learning at Home videos. Plus, visit lakeshorelearning.com for thousands of free resources.